In this video, I will let you know how to make your own wireless video streaming device in which you can stream that live video on the internet from anywhere in the world using ESP32 CAM board and the Blink IoT application. So without doing further delay, let's get started. First of all, connect the FTDI module with ESP32 CAM using this circuit diagram. So this is the converting of my previous project in which I could stream the live video within the local area network. So today I am trying to make this accessible over the internet so that I can stream that live video from anywhere in the world. In case if you haven't watched that previous video, I will suggest you to watch out that video so that you don't miss out on anything. I am going to use the code written by Techie SMS. Just download this code from the GitHub repository. Simply extract the zip file and open the .ino file on your Arduino IDE. Now inside the code, you just need to enter your Wi-Fi credential like SSID and password of your router. After that, you have to uncomment this line of code and if you are using ESP32 CAM board. I am using the ESP32 CAM board from AI Thinker, so I just uncomment this line. Now the uploading process of the code is simple. You just need to connect all the components as shown in the circuit diagram, then connect the USB cable to your PC, and then hit that upload button by selecting the AI Thinker ESP32 CAM board from the board manager and its COM port from the tools menu. While the compilation of the program is completed and the dotted line appears, just press the reset button on the ESP32 CAM board. Ok, so I uploaded the code. Let us open the serial monitor. Here you can see the board got connected to the Wi-Fi router and it even got its local IP address. So here, if I use this local IP address slash mjp slash 1, as you can see, I can stream the live video over here. But this will only work when my ESP32 cam and the laptop are connected with the same Wi-Fi router. Now let's just try to make this project work over the internet for you. And for that, you just need to perform a couple of steps on your Windows, Mac or Linux based computer. Currently, I am using Windows PC, so let's have a look over the steps to be performed. First, you need to go to the website called ngrock.com. Here, you need to make an account and after that, log in to your account. You also need to verify your account, so you will not face any type of problem during this project. After you log in to your account, you need to download the file according to your system. In my case, I am using the Windows PC, so I will download this Windows version. After that, simply extract this zip file and now open the extracted folder and run this ngrock.exe file. After that, enter this command which will store your unique API key into your system. So that's all about the configuration part of NGRO, which you can configure within few minutes. So now we are just one command away from making this project work over the internet. So let's see what that command is. For that, you just need to copy your local IP address, which is assigned to your ESP32 CAM board. After that, go back to the NGRO system and just type this command and paste this local IP address. Now press the enter and you are done. Now you can live stream the video using this link. Let me just copy it and I will go back to my mobile phone. First I will disconnect my phone from the Wi-Fi and connect it to the mobile data. Now I will enter the link followed by mjpeg class 1. As you can see, I can stream the live video on my ESP32 CAM board. 
as you can see i can stream the live video from my esp32 cam board but this time it's over the internet isn't it that simple but a super project to make now you can make the same project using the blink iot platform so open up the blink app and create a new project after that just tap on the screen and add this video stream widget now you can tap on the widget and paste the same link here so that's it now you just click on the play button here you can see i can stream the live video from esp32 cam board onto my blink iot platform over the internet now you can place this cam module inside this case and use it as a surveillance cctv camera I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If it was helpful, like the video and subscribe to this channel. I will share more interesting and exciting project in upcoming days. Stay healthy, stay safe. It's me Elson signing off for today. See you soon on the next one.